Came AT5000 swing gate motor installation instruction. The ATI 230 volt gear motor is designed to power residential and condominium swing gates. Restrictions. With swing gates, it is always advisable to install an electro lock. This is to ensure a reliable closing and to protect the gear motor's inner workings. But whereas with reversible operators it is merely advisable, with irreversible ones, beyond 4 meter it is obligatory. Preliminary checks. Before installing, do the following. Make sure the structure of the gate is sturdy, the hinges work, and that there is no friction between moving parts and non-moving parts. Measurement C cannot be greater than the value shown in Tabata 3P5. In this case, you need to work on the pillar until said measure remnant is obtained. The path of the electrical cables must comply with the command and safety instructions. There must be a soundly secured to the ground. Mechanical stop to prevent the gate. Leaf gear motor from overextending. Any connections inside the case that provide continuance to the protective circuit must be fitted with extra insulation as compared to the other conductive part inside. Make sure you have suitable tubing and conduits for the electrical cables to pass through and be protected against mechanical damage. Release with customized key. One, raise the door. Two, insert and turn key, which immediately releases door. Three, manually push or pull gate leaf. To lock gate leaf again into place, just insert key again and turn. Adjusting opening stop micro switch. Release the gear motor and set the gate leaf to the full opening position required. Slide the microswitch unit on the microswitch sled until the same is inserted by making contact with the microswitch actuating sled. Secure the microswitch unit with the screws. Connecting two motors. This is came ATI, 5000 motor. Wiring to ZA3N, ZM3E control panel. Control panel terminal block. The control panel has five output terminals labeled, which are terminals U, V, W, X, Y. Motor connection overview. Motor 1, primary leaf connections. Terminal U, connect to U of motor 1. Terminal V, connect to V of motor 1. Terminal W, connect to W of motor 1. Motor 2, secondary leaf connections. Terminal X, connect to U of motor 2. Terminal Y, connect to V of motor 2. Terminal W, connect to W of motor 2. Note, the W terminal from the control board is shared between both motors. It's usually the common ground or zero volt reference. Important installation tips. Motor polarity. Double check the terminals of UVW. Orientation for correct rotation. Reversing U and V can change opening closing direction. M1 versus M2. M1 is the motor that opens first and closes last. 
M2 opens second and closes first. Set these positions physically during initial alignment. Test without load. Always test motor direction without gates attached, to avoid mechanical stress in case of wrong polarity. Check manual switches or dip settings. ZA3N and ZM3E have programmable settings or dip switches to control. Delay between leaves. Soft stop slash start. Motor force and timing. Photocell and safety sensor wiring. Explained, DJAR slash DELTS. RX and TX and DIR slash Delta S to A. Came control board, likely ZA3N, ZM3E, or similar. TX, transmitter, photocell wiring. TX terminal on transmitter connect to terminal TX on receiver sensor. Terminal 2 of transmitter sensor connects on control board terminal 2. Terminal 2 is ground and common. The transmitter only needs power, usually plus 24 volt DC from the control board. RX, receiver, photocell wiring. Terminal 10 on control board. Connect to terminal 10 on receiver sensor. Terminal 10 is plus 24 volt output on control board. Terminal 2 of receiver sensor. Connects on control board terminal 2. The receiver is also needs power at usually plus 24 volt DC from the control board. Terminal C on receiver sensor connects on control board terminal 2. C is common of receiver sensor. And finally terminal NC of receiver sensor connects on control board terminal C1. AC1 is NC contact for reopening while closing. Input for safety devices like photocells, sensitive, edges and other devices. While the door is closing, opening the contact will invert movement until it is fully opened. How it works. When no obstacle is present, the NC, normally closed contact, keeps the gate operating normally. If the beam is interrupted, person, car, etc., the NC contact opens, breaking the circuit to control, and the gate stops or reverses for safety. If in used, short circuit contact Terminal 2 and Terminal C1. Warning devices. Flashing light should be 230 volt AC and 25 watt maximum. Flashes while gate opens and closes. Terminal E and Terminal W. Command devices. Terminal 1 with Common 2. Stop button. It's his NC contact. Gate stop button with exclusion of automatic closing. To resume movement, press Command button or Transmitter button. If unused, short circuit contact Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. Terminal 7 with Common 2. Key switch selector and or command button. It's NO contact. Commands for opening and closing by pressing the button or turning the selector switch key. This terminals you can use for Wi-Fi system or GSM to door open by mobile.
Accessories Power Supply Terminal 11 and 10 is a powering of 24 volt AC accessories. Overall allowed power is 20 watts. Electric lock. Terminals ES and ES. A terminals for electro lock. The output is 12 volt 15 watts maximum. With swing gates, it is always advisable to install an electro lock. This is to ensure a reliable closing and to protect the gear motor's inner workings. Power supply. Terminals L1 and L2. Is the main power supply to operate the control board. The main 230 volt AC 5060th Hertz is. Motor torque limit. To change motor torque, move the fasten, the one with the black wire, to one of the four. Range settings. One minimum. Four is maximum. Selecting functions. Switch one on. Automatic closing activated. Switch one of. Automatic closing deactivated. Switch two on. Open, stop, close, stop with terminals two and seven button and radio transmitter. Switch two off. Open and close with button of terminals two and seven and radio transmitter activated. Trimmer settings. Trimmer TR2M. Adjusting the delay of operator 2 from operator 1 minute to 10 seconds. Trimmer TL. Adjusting the working time from 15 seconds to 120 seconds. Adjusting the working time to the minimum will activate the maintained action function. Trimmer TCA. Adjusting automatic opening and closing times from 0 seconds to 120 seconds. Connect RG58 antenna cable to the opposite terminals. Keep pressed the channel 1 button on the control board the LED light flashing. The transmitter button sends the code, and the LED will stay on to signal that memorization was successful. 